Hey and welcome back and here we go. So we're going straight in to the Twilight Forest and we're going straight over to the Snow Queen's Lair. We also need to get the Snow Golem, I think it's called, uh, as well to complete the quest to make us move along. So what I'm going to do is just fly over and see as soon as we see a bit of snow, we know we're on our way. Okay, so I saw some snow. Yeah, we've seen some snow. So we'll make our way over there and straight away that is the cave for the snow golem. Yeti. Yeti, that's what they're called. Yetis. And I need to kill the elf Yeti, which is the boss inside the cave. Um, not too difficult to kill. I'm realizing now that I don't actually have any torches, or at least I don't have my lantern to put the torches down. So I will have to do this in the dark, but it should be reasonably quick. Okay, so that's that one down, which is the easiest of the two, of course. The next one is the Snow Queen. We've got to go and find her now. She will be in a temple. Uh, Aurora. It's made out of the Aurora block that's full of change. It's reasonably, reasonably easy to find. Usually, it's just finding her because there is a lot of spies that you need to sort of dig to or mine down to or, or fight your way up to, depending on what your abilities you have. So once we've cleared out this, I was trying to get a few of the resources off of them and it was not doing any damage to me, so I thought why not get a few free resources. And then we'll go over to the temple. And there it is, you can see it over at that left hand side where it goes light blue out of the snow, that is the ice, so we just need to get over there now. And within there, there'll be the temple. It will be surrounded by a huge wall of ice and lots of penguins. So they don't they don't fight, they don't do anything. And I'm not mistaken, they don't actually give much either. I'll kill a few just to see, but they don't. Spoiler alert. So it's just really getting straight into the temple itself. So here I'm just doing the easiest way I know how. Uh, using the spring to get a glide, gliding up to a higher point, and then spring, etc., rinse and repeat. Just to get me over that wall of ice and into that biome so that we can then start making our way. And I failed miserably there. Uh, so we can make our way to the actual boss. Okay, so I killed a few penguins. I did the chance cube even though I said I wasn't going to do that. I don't know why I did. I obviously got sidetracked. Probably forgot I was recording to be honest. Uh, and we're going back now just to reset. Make sure I've got the things I need, i.e. the apples. And then we're going to go straight back to the Snow Queen. So here we go into the temple first floor Various different mobs some of them. I mean they look identical to the Phantom Knight one for me to be honest these ones are a bit strange. They There's a couple of them that the circular ones Some just die normally and others die with an explosion like that and they turn the Aurora into Light stained glass. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a strategy for finding your way through the maze or not. I don't do that. Obviously, you can see here I've managed to remember to bring the lantern. So I torch the crap out of everything up to the point where I run out of torches, which I do. Another spoiler. Um, but I do top up again, so it's not the end of the world. And this is really just... Fumbling around with your thumbs in the dark, trying to figure out which tower is actually the one that's got the queen in, and also how to get up there. Now, again, with this process, I usually do the same thing and actually come in from the top. So if I can get to the top with the 
catapult and the or even blocks and just nerd pole up whatever it takes but just get to the top and then I, I go down because it's a lot easier than doing it this way though I'm doing it like this for now because there are loot chests in the various different rooms in the centers so I'm just doing it for that really but if we skip ahead you'll see how I managed to find her to save you having to wander through the corridors with me And here we go. So down, and i using the glider to break the fall. You can see I did what I said I would in the end. I basically just got to the top and flew around the towers. I think there was seven in total. And then down the middle of each one until you see the Snow Queen's uh, health bar appear. And then I knew it was there. So torch the top to make sure nothing falls down the hole after me. And then we'll go here. Now the strategy here is really to actually hit her and not the beneath. It doesn't do as much damage, but... I'll be honest, I was trying to find ways of getting up, but it wasn't working. So I just swung and swung and swung. Not much damage coming out, though it did do significant damage to my armor. Uh, I have my apples on me, but them apples you can see on the hot bar are the normal apples, not the god apples. So they don't give much defense or help, but something's better than nothing, right? So as we move forward, we'll see. This is just a hitting exercise. She doesn't seem to do anything. And what she spawns to defend herself really isn't worth talking about. Because they just die. If not in one hit, then definitely within two. <laughs> Topping up my buffs here just to make sure. Because obviously if I die, it's too late to say, whoops, I should have done that. So I'm just making sure. I'm not risking it. The apples are free. I can make them, but they are free because the mob farm is producing them. Though I am... I think I'm out, actually, apart from the six that you see on my hot bar. So, but again, just keep swinging and swinging and swinging and see what happens at the end. And almost there now. The last tiny little bit of health. And there we go. She's dead. Again, this was rinse and repeat, which is why I skipped through it. Me swinging the axe, sword, whatever you want to call it. You can see there that my armor, chest and legs were broken there. So that's going to be a really fun project for me to get the 29 tiers of armor back. Uh, I really should have paid more attention to that, but it's too late now. So looking at that, you can see there's a lot of loot, both from the tower fighting through it and then uh, from the boss. Now I need to make sure I've got all of the items from the boss so that the achievement is gained and we can move on to the next area, which requires both the Ice Queen and the Alpha Yeti. Okay, portal back. Putting torches everywhere because I forgot to turn that off. There's a cheeky cow that jumped through the portal and annoyed me a little bit. I need to put a fence around it to stop it so I'm not losing my life start. And we'll go back home. So there we go. That's putting infinity on the bow, the tri bow that I got for free. Why not? I didn't have a bow up until this point, And to be honest, I really do need one because melee is a bit dangerous for hardcore mode. But anyway, I've done it. So it's there. And we have that to move forward. Having a quick look at the enchantments I have. Uh, just to see if I've got anything else I can chuck on the bow. Why I, I'm i using it or have it. Of course, the ones I really want are power. But I don't find it. Another spoiler. There's only a punch which I believe is not back of some description. Um, but irrelevant to that. We've got that upgraded now anyway. And then finally... Just completing the quest for the Snow Queen. And as you can see, we can now move over to the Troll Caves. Because we also did the Alpha Yeti. So that will be coming up in the next episode. For the episode, for this episode, though, I'm going to leave it there. It is much shorter than normal. I'm trying something new. So if you like the episode, please click like. Any comments are welcome. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.